Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to JRN. Today we have a very special guest. We have the 2019 Arca Menard Series champion, and uh, is competing full time in the NASCAR Truck Series for Kyle Busch Motorsports next year. Christian Eckes. So, how are you doing today, Christian? Pretty good, man. Uh, just kind of hanging out here. It's off season, it's a little boring, but uh, getting ready for Daytona here in a couple weeks. Yeah, and uh, Daytona too. It's a uh, Right around the corner, we don't have much longer, so uh, you competed in the truck series at Daytona before, you've ran there in the ARCA series, so uh, is it going to be a challenge running there in the truck series this year? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it's always such a challenge when you, you bring a truck like that to you know, such a big racetrack, because it's punch, such a big hair, or a hole in the air. Um, you know, you get such big draft lines, you know, you kind of call it the chaos that you see on TV. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, hopefully we can get there the big one. Uh, we got in it last year, and hopefully we can stay out of that one and uh, bring them a good finish to the year. Yeah, and the big yeah. one's definitely one of the most challenging things about uh, those tracks like Daytona, Talladega. There's always those big wrecks there. you got to make sure to stay out of trouble. So, uh you, there's been uh, some big wrecks in the ARCA series before, and you've managed to make it past some of those. So what is it like when you uh, see a wreck happening? What do you have to do to try to avoid that? Yeah, it usually just depends. Um, you know, sometimes it's just kind of you're along for the ride, and there's nothing you can do. But there's sometimes you can drive out of it. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty sketchy when you see uh, a whole bunch of stuff happening in front of you, but um, you know, especially when you know, Daytona and stuff, everything happens so fast that um, you're pretty much along for the ride if you're behind it. But um, you know, every once in a while, you get a lucky situation where you can drive out of it. Yeah, and uh, it's always scary when you're in a wreck. And uh, I mean, you've made it past some wrecks, and uh, you've been caught up in some wrecks. Uh, really, every race car driver at one point in their career, uh, probably usually many times, has been caught up in a wreck. It's a uh, is there any, like, when you get caught up in a wreck, are you scared or are you kind of, uh, just kind of chill when when it happens? Yeah, um, you know, honestly, you don't really think about it. Um, you're never usually scared. You're just kind of focused on the task at hand because you're so, you know, wired and you're ready to, to go out and compete. So, um, you kind of go into survival mode almost and, and try to figure out how to, you know, get yourself out of it. Um, and that's kind of how we're wired as human beings. So uh, I wouldn't say that we're um, really scared when you, when you get into one. It's just kind of, all right, here we go. How do we get out of it? Yeah, and I've talked to a few drivers. Uh, Ken Trader, one of them, he says usually it happens so fast that you don't really have time to be scared. And I've talked to uh, quarter midget drivers before. I've talked to uh, late mall drivers. A lot of them say it just usually happens so fast there's really no time to be scared. And uh, no reason to be scared, because by the time you have the chance to be scared, you're already climbing out of the car. So, uh, one thing, what's the scariest wreck you've been in in your racing career? Mm. Oh. I don't know. Uh, I'd probably say, <clears throat> honestly, Daytona this past year in the truck. Um, the car, um, it wasn't even the big crash that really had all the damage. I didn't even crash, but I caught on fire um, after we went back out, after we fixed the damage. That was, that was probably the most nervous I've ever been. Um, it's the first time I really caught on fire big, so I'm not a big fan of fire, so but that one probably. Okay, well, uh, it's a good thing you haven't been any too, too serious wrecks, uh, so it's a good thing you're still here today and uh, competing for wins, so... Uh, Fire, I know a lot of the uh, drivers usually uh, don't have a problem when fire comes because they got those fire suits on, but uh, what, like, how hard is it when you're in fire, and how quick do you, like, want to get out of that car when there's a fire? Yes, as quick as you can. Um, you know, we, we all have the, the fire proof and everything like that, but, you know, it's still fire, and you still want to get out of there as quickly as possible, so... Um, so I'd say we've, we've kind of been trained to just get out as quickly as we can. And, um, you know, like I said, we'll get out at Daytona and call on fire big. So, um, yeah, fire's no good. 
Yeah, and I bet it's probably hard to breathe in that car when uh, it's on fire. A lot of drivers I know want to get out quick, too, because they always have a hard time breathing, especially when uh, the officials come trying to put out the fire. You're still having a hard time breathing then, so uh, it's definitely pretty scary. And uh, so, yeah, sure. so this year in the Arkham Menard series, you scored four wins, 13 top fives, and 17 top tens, and 89% of the time you finished in the top ten. So that's basically the majority of the races, and you still came back to win the championship after only making 19 out of the 20 starts on the schedule. After um, uh, you had to uh, miss a week at Salem, that race. So uh, the truck series we know is a lot different than the Arca series, but uh, you've done pretty well in the truck series too. You uh, have made eight starts this year, and uh, thirteen. To you had a uh, three top fives and four top tens this year, and you led ninety laps, and you had that really good run at Homestead in the Truck Series this year. But uh, so, do you think uh, you'll be able to perform like you have in the Arca Series this year in the Truck Series? Yeah, uh, I think so. Um, you know, we definitely have speed for sure. Um, you have three poles in our, in our eight starts, and. Um, in the front row six out of eight times so we definitely have the speed part of it um you know there's there's that results obviously kind of pissed me off here and there um you know i felt like we should have should have got a win last year if we were able to capitalize or something bad had happened but um no i, I think we're just going to build on what we did last year and uh you know it's the same team as i had at, at uh, homestead and all the races that ran so um, we're just looking forward to building on our success and then hopefully, you know, continuing to, uh, to build on that. Yeah, and I'm excited to see what you can do next year in the truck series. You, uh, you've been pretty consistent and, uh, pretty good in the starts you've made. You've, uh, like you had that really good run at home, said leading a lot of laps and stuff. And, uh, I think now that you're full time in the truck series, you'll definitely perform well and I think you'll probably be able to capture a win but uh and you're not even though uh, you didn't score a win last year um basically the whole organization other than Kyle Bush really kind of didn't took a dip into performance uh than usual so uh you still did pretty good I mean Harrison Burton he didn't score a win this year and uh and uh he raced full time and uh he only made eight starts and perform well basically like he did most races and um then also um like todd gilland he he uh raced full-time sure he scored that one win at martinsville but he wasn't necessarily really consistent throughout the year he not none of these drivers did bad or anything but they just weren't really like that great as kyle Busch motorsports usually is so uh you, I definitely think that you'll be able to uh, bring the organization back to glory and uh, score a win next year. So uh, is there a specific track that you uh, really want to win at next year? I know a lot of drivers have a certain track that's uh, special to them or they uh, want to win at the most. Yeah, um, obviously yeah, I'd like to win at all of them, but um, you know, I'd say the biggest one is Gateway. Uh, I feel like I honestly should have won that race the past two years, in 2018. Led a bunch of laps, won stage two, got wrecked. Um, I think the start of stage three, but led the entire stage two and had a really good truck. And then this past year, led 57 laps or whatever like that, but lost the lead really, really late um, on a pit stop strategy. But you know, I was running them down, and the caution came out, and I got wrecked again. So it was kind of one to go. But you know, I definitely say that's the one. It's the place I always like going to, and unfortunately, haven't had the uh, the outcome that we deserved. Yeah, and Gateway, it's a pretty full track to win at. Uh, seen uh, it's definitely one of the more unique tracks on the schedule. Uh, Cup doesn't race there, so uh. So one of the one of those tracks that Cup doesn't race at that's pretty unique and uh, I mean I'd probably if I was a driver that Gateway would probably be on the top of my list too, uh, probably Daytona Gateway those tracks just because Gateway is really unique and uh, cool. 
So uh, I I definitely think Gateway is a uh, pretty cool to win at. So uh, what are do you have any expectations for uh, next year? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously we we have our preseason goals, but um, you know, I want to get to the point where we're a championship caliber team. Um, you know, we were last year for sure, um, and I feel like we can get back to those pretty easily. Um, you know, I was trying to build on the success that we had last year. I mean, Kyle and, and Greg did a great job in their truck. Um, you know, we won six races or whatever it was and finish top three on a, on a weekly basis. It's just, I want to get to the point that, you know, we're, we're running top three on a weekly basis, um, you know, with me driving. Uh, you know, Kyle comes out and win every race, but he's been in the series so long. Um, you know, I want to get to the point where I'm close to that. So we'll just have to see what happens, but uh, I'm really looking forward to having the shot to, to try to do that. Yeah, no. So Kyle Bush, he's a... Uh been your mentor kind of uh racing for him has he uh helped you in any way uh with your racing career he gave you any pointers on what to do yeah um usually he'll come to our competition meetings um every monday or something like that uh we'll, we'll watch the race and as a team you know all three teams are combined and kind of go over what we did right what we did wrong and, uh you know it's super helpful and, um, you know, he's always there if, if you need something going to a certain racetrack as well. So um, it's, it's been an incredible asset to have, and I'm uh, looking forward to using that a little bit more this year. Yeah, and Kyle Busch, he's definitely probably uh, the best driver in the uh, NASCAR, really, this year. I, I can't necessarily just say Cup Series because uh, he's still winning in the Xfinity Series and Truck Series, but uh, he's been really really uh consistent he uh got those uh, 11 top 10s in a row cup series and so i definitely think really whoever's racing for him he'd probably help them out a lot and uh racing can be tough sometimes but uh he seems to have uh, figured it out and stuff so uh anyway now to wrap things up uh we have the fan question presented by keelan o'neill do you prefer mcdonald's or chick-fil-a Okay, well, uh, I'm probably, uh, I'm not really a big fan of either of them. Uh, Chick-fil-A, I, I, uh, I like Chick-fil-A, pro I'd probably have to say Chick-fil-A, my only problem is, uh, probably just the play area and the smell of it, because usually when I go there, so many kids run around barefoot and stuff. And uh, I can't really, I don't, I don't like the smell of that. But uh, McDonald's has a play area too, so I, I mean, Chick Fil A would probably have to be mine as well. Uh, McDonald's really never been a huge fan of that, so uh, yeah, probably the same as you, Chick Fil A. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, good choice. Yeah, and so anyway, uh, thanks so much, Christian, for joining us on the show today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on JRN. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.